Chapter 1276, Perfect Body The interior of the stone tower at the back mountain of the Falling Star Pavilion during the morning of the next day. Teacher, the body refinement will begin soon. Are you ready? Xiao Yan took out the four-star Dou Zun skeleton of Feng Zunzhe and placed it gently on the stone platform. After which, his gaze turned towards Yao Lao by the side and spoke. Yes. Yao Lao nodded in a solemn manner. Despite his state of mind, a ripple had involuntarily appeared in his heart at this moment. Old Feng, the body refinement, and the merging process this time around might require a period of time. Do not allow anyone to enter the stone tower during this period of time, Xiao Yan turned his gaze, looked at Feng Zunzhe by the side again and spoke in a deep voice. You can rest assured that the Falling Star Pavilion will enter into a cautious state once you begin. The experts that have gone out will also be summoned back. Feng Zunzhe's face was grave as he nodded. Should Yao Lao recover his peak strength, the Falling Star Pavilion would be able to strengthen rapidly. At that time, it would be able to possess some ability to resist the vengeance by the Hall of Soul. Hence, nothing must be allowed to go wrong. Xiao Yan nodded slightly. He gradually calmed his mind. A moment later, he inhaled a deep breath of air. He flicked his finger. The jade bottle that contained the bone-growing blood-fusing pill slowly drifted towards Yao Lao. Yao Lao was naturally extremely familiar with these steps. He did not hesitate even a little as he extended his hand and received the jade bottle. After which, a thought passed through his heart. A wisp of spirit flew out and lingered beside Xiao Yan. Feng Zunzhe and Little Fairy Doctor's group exchanged gazes when they saw that Xiao Yana and Yao Chen had begun. They quietly left the stone tower without even emitting the slightest unusual sound that could interrupt those two. Everyone withdrew without causing Xiao Yan's attention to be split. The latter's expression was solemn. He grabbed the wisps of soul beside him before slamming his palm on the skeleton lying on the stone platform forcefully slamming the soul into the skeleton. Teacher, I will first refine the body. Once I succeed, you will be able to enter it and complete the merger step. Xiao Yan cried out in a low voice. He clenched his hand and a jade bottle appeared within his hand. Green-red blood slowly flowed within the jade bottle. A frightening energy fluctuation also spread from within it, causing this entire space to continue vibrating. This time around, Xiao Yan had prepared top quality items in order to refine a body for Yao Lao. Hence, the difficulty of the refinement would far exceed that from when he had helped Tian Huo Zunzhe. Go. Xiao Yan beckoned with his finger. The green red blood within the jade bottle shot out. Finally, it scattered on the grayish white bones. Immediately, waves of white smoke erupted. A hissing sound continued to appear. Zi Zi. The green-red color swiftly scattered when the green-red blood touched the grayish-white skeleton. Within the blink of an eye, the color of the skeleton had turned from gray to white, transforming into a beautiful green-red color. Moreover, the skeleton also emitted a rich energy ripple. Xiao Yan raised his hand upon seeing this. The green-red skeleton suspended in the air by itself. He waved his sleeve and the purple-brown flame surged out immediately wrapping around the skeleton. The essence blood of the heaven demon phoenix was extremely overbearing. Moreover, it also had difficulty merging. Hence, he must use the heavenly flame to grill this energy deep into every bone of this skeleton. Only then would the skeleton be allowed to absorb all of these shocking energy. With this fierce grilling from the flame, a slight green-red light also appeared on the green-red bone. Even though this was the case, the high temperature that had seeped in still caused the surface of the skeleton to form a slight bubble. Occasionally, the bubble would burst and a rich energy would spread. This kind of tempering and grilling was a process that exhausted a great amount of time. Hence, it continued for nearly an entire day before Xiao Yan finally slowly opened his tightly shut eyes. At this moment, the green redness on the skeleton had undoubtedly become much dimmer. It no longer possesses the bright color from before. Xiao Yan clearly understood that this was because that energy had gradually seeped deep into the skeleton under the high temperature. 
Ooh. Xiao Yan let out a long breath. He glanced at Yao Lao beside him and the latter nodded with a slight smile. Xiao Yan's current flame control had undoubtedly advanced very greatly when compared to back then. It could likely even be comparable to his level. This caused Yao Lao to feel pleased. Although he also valued Xiao Yan's strength, he was after all an alchemist. The pill refinement ability of his disciple was something that he paid most attention to. Xiao Yan also smiled when he saw that pleased expression of Yao Lao. He had just kept the flame when he suddenly thought of something. After hesitating for a moment, he slowly walked towards the stone platform. After which, he violently broke the right arm of the skeleton in front of Yao Lao's uncertain eyes. Hey! Yao Lao was startled when he saw Xiao Yan's action. He did not understand the reason for it. Try this, Xiao Yan smiled. He took out the Doshang right arm, which he had obtained from the ancient remains, from his storage ring. After which, it was joined onto the right shoulder of the skeleton. Although the size was not very suitable, the two quickly merged completely together after the trimming from Xiao Yan's flame. Doshang arm. Yao Lao's eyes were outstanding. He saw the jade white bone arm and his expression changed. A shocked expression surged up his eyes. Yes. I have obtained it from the ancient remains. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. He said, regardless of whether this thing is of any use, its hardness is completely up to standard. The hardness of the Doshang skeleton was something that Xiao Yan had personally witnessed. This thing definitely possessed its extraordinary point. However, he did not wish to leave it for his own use. Moreover, he was unable to use it even if he wanted to. It was impossible for him to cut his own arm for this thing before joining it to him. He was also uncertain if any sequelae would occur because of it. If it really did exist, he would end up losing more than he has gained. The current Yao Lao did not possess this kind of worry. He did not possess a body. This new body would gradually perfectly merge with him once he entered it. The arm would also truly belong to him in the future. Yao Lao nodded slightly. Placing a Dosheng arm during this body refinement step was also something that he had never heard before. However, since it was something belonging to a Dosheng, it should be quite useful. It might even become an opportunity for him to break through to a Dosheng in the future. After directly connecting the arm onto the skeleton, Xiao Yan once again used the 3000 Lotus Heart Flame to refine it for a while. He finally nodded after the bone hand and the skeleton was perfectly connected. After a long period of refinement, that grayish-white skeleton had also undergone a drastic change in appearance. Its entire body was green and red. Although his right hand still possessed a jade-white color, the end of the arm also had some green-red color adhering onto it. The two had completely merged together under the grilling from the 3000 Lotus Heart Flame. Teacher. Xiao Yan's expression also became serious when he saw this scene. He cried out in a deep voice. Yes. Yao Lao nodded. With his old sharp eyes, he was naturally aware that now was the best opportunity. Immediately, he swiftly took out that bone-growing blood-fusing pill from the jade bottle and swallowed it. His body swiftly turned illusory, transforming into a ray of light that rushed into the skeleton. Bang! The skeleton trembled violently when Yao Lao's soul merged into the skeleton. Those empty eye sockets gradually possessed a glow. At the same time, a frightening mysterious energy spread out from the interior of the skeleton. Under this energy, some mysterious flesh had actually begun to appear on the skeleton, the flesh was grown on the white bones. This miracle was naturally brought by the bone-growing blood-fusing pill. Teacher, endure on. Xiao Yan's face had become grave as he saw the swiftly wiggling flesh being formed on the skeleton. He let out a low cry and the purple flame that wrapped around the skeleton immediately burned fiercely. Under the burning of this flame, the blood and flesh that had just been formed were actually being incinerated into ashes. However, when the ash scattered, a frightening mysterious energy once again spread out. The rate at which the flesh grew became increasingly quick. At the end, 
it was possible to see the rapid wiggling of the flesh granulation. A blood blurry human outline was swiftly taking shape. This burning and growth continued for nearly 10 hours. The skin structure of the flesh was completely formed under the grilling of the flame. Following the birth of flesh, the skeleton on the stone platform had also completely turned into a human form. Subsequently, all that remained was to wait for Yao Lao to completely merge with this body. After which, that Yao Zunzhe, who had stunned the continent back then, would be truly able to revive from the bath of flames. At the same time, an enormous black large hall crept like a fierce beast from the ancient times within the deep mountains in the western region of the central plains. A frightening energy ripple that could chill one's heart spread vaguely. Puff! Black fog suddenly surged out from all directions within the large hall. A moment later, the black fog gathered. It transformed into many black figures that stood in the empty air. Powerful dark chilling aura swept over this entire place. Welcome Ninth Tianzun. Many black figures appeared. Immediately, they knelt down in the sky. Their respectful voice immediately resounded over this entire place. During the time that these black shadows were kneeling, the entire space also slowly became distorted. A moment later, a blue figure slowly appeared. A faint voice also sounded along with it. Do all of you still remember the mission this time around? Destroy the Falling Star Pavilion, capture Xiao Yan and Yao Chen. Nearly a hundred orderly loud cries simultaneously sounded. Yes, let's get moving. The blue figure nodded slightly. Immediately, his feet gently stepped on the ground. His body moved and slowly disappeared. When this blue figure disappeared, an elder, who was leading the black-clothed people also raised his head. Surprisingly, it was old ghost Xi Xing. At this moment, his eyes turned towards the northern sky. A ferocious expression surfaced on his face. Xiao Yan, the old me will see just who will rescue you this time around. Chapter 1277, Dou Sheng Bone Marrow Within the stone tower, Xiao Yan watched the old figure, who was shutting his eyes tightly while being engulfed by the flame. His heart sighed in relief when he did not sense any unexpected occurrence. Currently, the body had already been successfully refined. The next step had nothing to do with Xiao Yan. As long as Yao Lao was able to successfully and perfectly merge with this body, he would truly be able to revive. Xiao Yan rubbed the cold sweat off his forehead. The continuous refinement of the body during these few days had been a great exhaustion to Xiao Yan. Fortunately, there were quite a number of medicinal pills within his storage ring that provided him with a great stamina. It was due to this that he had successfully endured through it. Teacher, the subsequent matters will depend on you. Xiao Yan softly muttered. After which, he sat on a stone platform by the side. His eyes were slowly shut as he entered his training mode and began to recover from the enormous exhaustion that was created during this period of time. After Xiao Yan entered his training mode, the stone tower once again descended into a silence. Only the low and deep sound of a burning flame resounded within the stone tower with a rhythm. Half a day swiftly flew past after Xiao Yan shut his eyes and trained. Only after the Dou Qi that his body had exhausted was completely recovered did he slowly open his eyes. A faint glow flashed across his dark black eyes and he immediately became quiet. After recovering from his condition, Xiao Yan's eyes glanced towards the stone platform. However, he only saw that Yao Lao still had his eyes shut. Not the slightest activity was emitted. Xiao Yan frowned slightly when he saw this. However, he did not panic. This occurrence was ordinary. The various things used on this body were not ordinary. It was not as easy as one imagined for Yao Lao to completely merge with them. Currently, my strength still remains at the one-star Dozun level. However, the benefits that these couple of big battles brought me is quite great. After careful observation, I should have reached the peak of a one-star Dozun. Xiao Yan withdrew his thoughts and fell into a silence. After having swallowed the three thousand burning flame, 
Xiao Yan's strength might have soared but the speed after this soaring had once again returned to normal. According to this step-by-step -step training, it was likely that Xiao Yan would at least require another half a year in order to reach a two-star dozun. However, his relationship with the Hall of Soul becoming increasingly worse and had even ended up exchanging blows with them. Even though he was still fine until now, Xiao Yan understood that the true experts from the Hall of Soul had yet to appear. When these experts appeared, he would perhaps be out of luck. Therefore, he must raise his strength quickly in the face of the pressure from this enormous mountain known as the Hall of Soul. From Xiao Yan's perspective, the fastest method to raise his strength was undoubtedly to swallow heavenly flame. However, he had already obtained the 3000 burning flame and he did not have any information about other heavenly flames. Xiao Yan did cover the sea heart flame of old Mugu. However, ever since he had advanced to a dozun, that old fellow appeared to have disappeared. Hence, he had also abandoned the thought of snatching the sea heart flame. Heavenly flame. Xiao Yan's finger gently rubbed against each other. A moment later, he was suddenly startled. He flicked his finger over his storage ring and a couple of ancient maps appeared in his hand. These three ancient map fragments were naturally the mysterious map that Xiao Yan had obtained many years ago. It recorded the information of the Heavenly Flame ranked third on the Heavenly Flame ranking, purifying demonic lotus flame. With the increase in Xiao Yan's strength, Xiao Yan was also aware of the strength and rarity of these Heavenly Flames ranked at the front of the Heavenly Flame ranking. This purifying demonic lotus flame was known for its mysteriousness. Even Yao Lao had never seen this kind of heavenly flame. Xiao Yan had also checked through a great amount of information during these years and was similarly unable to obtain even the slightest news related to the purifying demonic lotus flame. If it was not because of the ancient map in his hand being the evidence, it was likely that even Xiao Yan would doubt that the so-called purifying demonic lotus flame existed in this world. Three maps, it is still impossible to see anything. Xiao Yan carefully placed those three map fragments in front of him. He carefully studied them for a while, only to end up shaking his head helplessly. The Dochi continent was incomparably large. He was unable to tell where the location of the terrain recorded on the map was. Those winding and bending route caused Xiao Yan to have a headache looking at it. Ugh, looks like I must find the last ancient map. Otherwise, no one will ever know just where this purifying demonic lotus flame is located. Xiao Yan had no choice but to give up after some futile deep thought. His face was dispirited. He was already blessed by the heavens in order to be able to obtain these three ancient maps. That final ancient map was something that he had no clue about. He had also failed to obtain even the slightest information related to this ancient map during these years of searching. He wondered if the last map actually existed in this world. Now, all I can do is to pray that I will continue to be lucky. Xiao Yan sighed softly. He carefully kept these three ancient maps. No matter what the case was, this thing was related to the purifying demonic lotus flame. Even though the chances of him obtaining it was extremely low, Xiao Yan would still not give up. After keeping the ancient maps, Xiao Yan hesitated for a moment before clenching his hand. A couple of jade white bone fragments appeared in his hand. These bone fragments were naturally the Dosheng bone fragments that he had obtained from the ancient remains. Dosheng. At expert at this level already possessed a great might to destroy the world. Just by stomping his foot, a mountain would be annihilated. This kind of expert had already successfully understood creation. Every part of his body was something that an ordinary person dreamed to obtain. It was not an exaggeration to say that one could transform into a dragon and soar to the sky if one obtained a little of it. Take this Dou Sheng bone marrow as an example. If it was given to a baby or a child less than five years old, even if the child was a useless person before, his bones would be refined after consuming it and turn into a genius. It might be difficult to believe in such an effect but it was indeed the truth. Xiao Yan's hand carefully rubbed these few jade white bone fragments. A moment later, he widened his mouth. Purple-brown flame was spat out and wrapped around these bone fragments. 
a frightening temperature spread immediately. These bone fragments were extremely hard. It was not easy to shatter them. If it was not because Xiao Yan possessed the a strong heavenly flame like the 3000 Lotus Heart Flame, it was likely that he could only simply watch the Doshang bone fragment even if he knew that the Doshang bone marrow was hidden within them. Of course, even with the aid of the heavenly flame, it was not an easy task to remove the Doshang bone marrow from the bones. Fortunately, Xiao Yan was already mentally prepared. Therefore, his heart did not feel the least bit impatient when he saw that the rock line bones did not move even a little under the fierce burning flames. Instead, he steadily raised the temperature and slowly burned the bones. Two days passed in the blink of an eye under this slow calcining by Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan once again withdrew from his training mode two days later. He watched the bone within the flame that had gradually turned grey in colour. An involuntarily smile appeared. His hand was extended into the flame before pressing gently. Puff. After his finger pressed on the grey bone, one could hear a puff sound. The bone became soft before transforming into grey bone ashes that slowly scattered downwards. After these bone ashes scattered, three thumb-size cream white gel-like things appeared in front of Xiao Yan's eyes. These three gel-like things were extremely small. Their surface possessed a colloid-like substance. When one's gaze looked through this layer, one could vaguely see the liquid slowly flowing within them. A wave of shocking mysterious energy quietly seeped out, causing a heat to gradually surge up Xiao Yan's eyes. Xiao Yan took out a jade bottle from his storage ring and carefully placed two Doshang bone marrow gel-like particles into it. After which, his finger pressed on the third one. He hesitated for a moment before gently stuffing it into his mouth. The gel particles had basically dissolved in an instant. Before he could wait for Xiao Yan to recover, a ocean-like majestic pure energy poured down like flood water. It followed his throat and poured down. After which, his whist and swept apart and surged towards the four limbs and bones of Xiao Yan. The frightening energy that poured in abruptly caused Xiao Yan's body temperature to be raised swiftly. Curling white smoke rose on his head. Xiao Yan hurriedly sat down when he sensed the transformation of his body. He swiftly entered his training mode and began to refine these sudden majestic energy. This refinement continued for three days before Xiao Yan tightly shut eyes slowly opened. He sensed the unpresented feeling of being filled with energy and involuntarily inhaled a gentle breath of air. Based on his senses, he had directly broke through to from the one star level to the two star level. The miraculous effort that was present within a bone marrow gel piece was something that an ordinary tier 7 and tier 8 medicinal pill could not be compared with. There were not many medicinal pill that could raise the strength of an expert dozen by one star. Who? He exhaled a long breath of air and raised his eyes to look at the stone platform. Yao Lao at that spot continued to keep his eyes shut. There was a sign of it waking up. It seemed that the body this time around was too strong. Even with teacher's strength, he was unable to easily control it. Xiao Yan fell into a deep thought. He helplessly shook his head and mused for a moment before deciding to exit the tower first and allowed Yao Lao to complete the merger here. When Xiao Yan had just made his mind, he suddenly sensed that the entire stone tower violently trembled at this moment. Soon after, a cold cry that was filled with murderous intent sounded over the sky in a mighty manner. Falling Star Pavilion Hand over Xiao Yan and Yao Chen. Otherwise, today, I will wash this place in blood. Bang! Xiao Yan's cry spread in a vast and mighty manner. Xiao Yan's expression changed intensely. His body suddenly stood up and his eyes looked towards the stone platform in a dense manner. Hall of Soul, has it finally arrived? Chapter 1278, Arrival of a Big Battle All the disciples on the Falling Star Mountain stood up at this moment. Their gazes were surprised as they looked at the distant sky. Due to the defensive formation that was naturally formed by the meteorite, they were unable to see the situation outside. However, they were vaguely able to sense that the Falling Star Pavilion seemed to be faced with a great calamity. Feng Zunzhe and the others were gathered on a square on the mountain top. 
their expressions were grave as they looked at the sky. The Hall of Soul have come, Tian Huo Zunzhenited his brows and spoke in a deep voice. There are many strong auras outside. This time around, it seems that the Hall of Soul really intend to wash the Falling Star Pavilion in blood as a deterrence to others, a solemnness appeared on Little Fairy Doctor's face as she spoke. Feng Zunzhen nodded slightly. However, his expression was calm. He was aware that this day would arrive sooner or later. It was just a matter of time. Feng Zunzhe slowly stepped forward. The seal in his hand changed and the falling star array in the sky rippled. Immediately, the space slowly became distorted and the situation outside clearly appeared in front of everyone's eyes. Hiss. Everyone involuntarily inhaled a breath of cool air when they saw the scene in the outside world. Currently, the area outside of the Falling Star Pavilion had been surrounded by black fog that permeated the sky. Nearly a hundred figures stood on the black fog in the sky a short distance in front of them. Dark and dense eyes penetrated through the formation and saw Feng Zunzhe's group that was hiding within it. Old Ghost Zai Sing. This old ghost has also come. Little Fairy Doctor glanced and found a familiar face amongst the many black-clothed people. Her face turned cold as she said. There is also the Hei Bai Tianzun whom we had met back then, Feng Zunzhe shook his head and slowly said. The faces of Little Fairy Doctor's group involuntarily changed when they heard these words of his. Their gaze looked towards where Feng Zunzhe was watching and did indeed see two old men in black and white clothes standing there. From the appearance of these two, they were surprisingly the Hei Bai Tianzun whom they had met once at the Death Soul Mountain Range. Three elite Tianzuns had actually arrived, this Hall of Soul really seems to think highly of us. Feng Zunzhe let out a long exhale as he said. Pavilion Chief Feng, what should we do now? The Hall of Soul has launched a big campaign. Moreover, from this momentum, it seems that they are not merely here to demand for someone, an elder from the Falling Star Pavilion spoke with a somewhat terrified expression. What is there to panic about? The Hall of Soul is not some kind association. They are planning to wash the Falling Star Pavilion in blood. Otherwise, why would they directly dispatch three elite Tianzuns? Feng Zunzhe frowned and chided. After which, his eyes looked around the Star Realm. He watched those thousands of Falling Star Pavilion disciple and spoke in a deep voice, therefore, there is no other path except to engage in an all-out fight. Everyone here are elders within the Falling Star Pavilion. Today, the Falling Star Pavilion is faced with a calamity that we have never faced before. All of you plan to, Feng Zunzhe's searing gazes turned towards the many elders of the Falling Star Pavilion and said. Pavilion Chief Feng, the Falling Star Pavilion is our route. The amount of effort we have put in for it is not less than anyone. Regardless of whoever it is that wish to destroy it, we will all fight to our deaths against them. The many elders had solemn expressions as they cried out in Yuzhen. Good. I, Feng Xian, really have good eyesight. In that case, let out fight till our deaths. I wish to see just how dominating this hall of soul can be. Feng Zunzhe cried out with a great force, causing the morale of all the falling star pavilion's disciples to be braced. From the perspective of many people here, the Falling Star Pavilion was their route. If it was destroyed by others, what face would they have to roam the central plains in the future? Feng Zunzhe, the old me advise you to obediently hand the people over. This Falling Star Pavilion's great formation cannot protect you. Old Ghost Zai Seeing's eyes were dark and dense as he looked at the space below. Although it was merely a sea of trees, he understood that this was only because of the Falling Star Pavilion great formation. The cold cry sounded but no response was given. Old Ghost Zai Sing involuntarily laughed out coldly when he saw this. His gaze turned towards the black white clothed elders by the side and said, let's attack together and break the formation. The activity from this trip of ours is too big. It is likely that the eyes from quite a number of factions had followed us. Therefore, we must use a bloody method to suppress the Falling Star Pavilion and use this opportunity to allow the other factions on the Central Plains to be aware that our Hall of Soul is not something that just anyone is qualified to offend. 
That black white Tianzuns nodded slightly when they heard this. Their gazes glanced below before raising their hands at the same time. After which, they violently grabbed the space below. After the hands of those three were clenched, a frightening spatial strength hurriedly spread over the place. Three invisible large hands grabbed heavily onto the empty space. A light surged immediately and an invisible light barrier containing the glow of the stars appeared in front of everyone's eyes from nowhere. Break it! Old Ghost Xi Xing coldly cried out. He suddenly clenched his hand violently. That invisible large hand violently smashed onto the invisible light barrier. Bang! A fist landed and numerous ripples spread on the light barrier. A loud rumbling sound resounded over the sky in a thunder-like manner. Bang bang bang! Following closely behind Old Ghost Xi Xing, the frightening wind from the black white Tainzuns also swept down from the sky. Immediately, it poured onto the light in a storm-like manner. Under this fierce attack by three elite Dozuns who had reached the five-star Dozun level, that light had become shaky. All the disciples within the falling star pavilion looked at the repeatedly trembling light barrier from within the star realm. They suddenly held their weapons in their hands with a greater force. The great formation is unable to endure the attacks from the three of them. Feng Zunzhe watched the light barrier that was about to be shattered. His expression sunk slightly as he said. The Hall of Soul has sent three Tianzuns over this time around. There are also seven Dozuns. Quite a number of Dozongs has also come, Feng Zunzhe's eyes flickered as he spoke in a deep voice, the seven Dozuns and the other experts are not considered troublesome to deal with. However, old ghost Xi Xing Trio is a great trouble. His voice paused before suddenly clenched his teeth and spoke, I will block both the black white Tianzuns. How can you alone be a match for the two of them? Little fairy doctor and the rest frowned immediately when they heard this. The other elders of the falling star pavilion also had a drastic change in expressions as they continuously objected. There is no need to defeat them. All that we need to do is to delay the time until Yao Chen successfully exit his retreat, Feng Zunzhe inhaled a deep breath and said. Everyone became quiet when they heard this. It had been half a month since Xiao Yan and Yao Lao had entered the stone tower. However, not even the slightest news was transmitted from it. Just what use this little bit of time was to them. I will deal with old ghost Xi Xing. Leave one of the black white Tianzuns to the sky demon puppet. As for the other Tianzun, little fairy doctor and Tian Huo Zunzhe will join hands to deal with him. While everyone were quietly and helpless, a calm voice suddenly resounded. Immediately, that skinny figure that caused little fairy doctor's group to calm down, also slowly appeared in the midair above the mountain. That is, Junior Pavilion Chief Xiao Yan? He has exited from the retreat. The attention of all of the disciples within the Falling Star Pavilion was braced when Xiao Yan appeared. During these years, Xiao Yan could be considered to have really made a name for himself in the Central Plains. Everyone within the Falling Star Pavilion were also aware of his strength. His appearance was just like a great strength, causing the morale of the Falling Star Pavilion to surge. You have come out? What about Yao Chen? A joy immediately surfaced on Feng Zunzhe's face when he saw Xiao Yan appeared. He hurriedly asked the question. He still needs time. Xiao Yan slowly shook his head. His gaze looked at the repeatedly shaking light barrier. A densely cold-faced old ghost Xi Xing was outside of the light barrier. There was a cold glint flashing across his dark black eyes when he did so. This old ghost was really too hateful. Time and time again this old ghost had come and find trouble. This time around, he will definitely not allow this old ghost to escape. Leave the last Tianzun to me. Allow little fairy Dr. Gigi and the rest to block the other elite Dozuns. Ching Lin by the side hesitated for a moment before she suddenly spoke softly. Hey! Little fairy doctor was startled when she heard this. She glanced at Ching Lin, smiled warmly and said, it's fine, old Mr. Yao and I can block him. Xiao Yan's eyes also turned towards Ching Lin. The latter smiled at him. She crossed her hands together and said, Young Master Xiao Yan, you can be rest assured. 
I can block him. Xiao Yan knitted his brow slightly when he saw Qing Lin's insistence. Finally, he nodded slightly. Although Qing Lin's strength was only that of a one star Dozun, she possessed a mysterious treasure like the triple jade green snake flower pupils. Moreover, her body also hid the soul of an ancient heaven serpent. Such a ferocious being was something that even Xiao Yan was unusually afraid of. From the looks of her appearance, it was likely that she was not merely putting up a brave front. Little Fairy Doctor was also startled when she saw Xiao Yan actually agreeing with Qing Lin. Immediately, she felt helpless. However, her heart was also a little rest assured. She understood that Xiao Yan was not a reckless person. He would not allow Qing Lin to fight with a hall of soul Tianzun without reason. Since he did this, it was likely that he had his reasons and his confidence. Xiao Yan waved his hand. Eleven puppets appeared in the midair. After which, his gaze was lifted and he slowly said, Open the great formation. It is about to be broken. Feng Zunzhe also nodded when he heard this. His hand seal changed and the light barrier in the sky trembled before slowly scattering. Following the disappearance of this light barrier, the entire place gradually became dark. The black fog that permeated the sky also appeared in front of everyone's gaze in close proximity. Old Ghost Zai Seeing smiled coldly as he watched the slowly scattering light barrier in the sky. Immediately, his gaze penetrated through the space and looked towards the skinny figure standing on the mountain top. His dense voice carried a bone-chilling coldness as it resounded over the entire sky. Xiao Yan, I have said that we will meet each other again. This time around, the old me will see just who will be able to rescue you. Chapter 1279, Chaotic Battle Xiao Yan was expressionless upon hearing the dense ferocious laughter of old ghost Zai Xing. His body slowly rose into the air and looked towards the black fog that spread over the sky. It was likely that such a large lineup had already attracted the attention of quite a number of factions. Based on his guess, it was likely that the area outside of the Falling Star Pavilion was already filled with the spies of other factions. There were countless number of hidden powerful factions within the Central Plains. The fight between these factions was also extremely intense. The Falling Star Pavilion had received many challenges since it was established to become one of the four great pavilions. However, this time around, it was undoubtedly facing its most dangerous situation in its history. If they could endure through it, the reputation of the Falling Star Pavilion would definitely soar and toss the other three pavilions far behind it. If it was unable to do so, it was likely that the Falling Star Pavilion will forever disappear on this central plains. Old Ghost, your nonsense is really as much as it has ever been. Just attack and quickly finish them off. You have already failed a couple of times. If you end up failing again this time around, you should be clearer than anyone else just what your fate will be. The black white Tianzuns in the sky glanced at old ghost Zai Xing and spoke faintly. Humph, your reminder is unnecessary. Hearing this, old ghost Zai Xing's face sunk as he spoke coldly. Although he spoke in this manner, a dark denseness also gradually appeared in old ghost Zai Xing's eyes. He stared at Xiao Yan, who was suspended in the midair and laughed coldly. After which, he suddenly waved his hand. Wash the Falling Star Pavilion in blood. Understood. Hearing the cold cry of old ghost Zai Xing, the many experts from the Falling Star Pavilion also cried out in Yuzhen. Powerful Dou Qi spluttered out. Immediately, Black chains shot explosively towards the star realm from all directions while emitting waves of clang sound. Charge! A deafening murderous cry resounded over this entire place. The originally peaceful star realm swiftly became a place filled with a killing aura. Xiao Yan's figure was suspended in the midair. His gaze stared intently at old ghost Zai Xing. Those Hall of Soul experts scattered on their own when they had reached a hundred feet from him and rushed into the Star Realm. Brat, this time around, the old me will definitely personally capture you back to the Hall of Soul. At that time, the old me will let you understand what it means by a fate worse than death. 
Old Ghost Xi Xing's face was filled with a savage viciousness as he looked at Xiao Yan. His foot suddenly stomped on the empty air and he directly charged explosively towards Xiao Yan. When Old Ghost Xi Xing attacked, the black white Tianzuns exchanged gazes with each other and nodded slightly. Their feet stepped on the empty air and entered the star realm. When their footsteps landed, an ocean like vast and mighty Dou Qi slowly swept out, causing the energy of this entire world to fluctuate. Qi. Just when the black white Tianzuns were planning on entering the star realm and engage in a massacre, a golden light rushed over. After which, it charged straight towards the both of them. A puppet Hui, a puppet that can fight against a four star Dozun is really rare. Leave it to me. The black-clothed black Tianzun glanced at the sky demon puppet that was charging over aggressively. A faint surprise flashed across his eyes as he spoke. I, it looks like the massacre can only be done by me. White Tianzun laughed in a dense manner. His body moved and he made a detour around the sky demon puppet that had rushed over. However, he had just taken a couple of steps when a delicate small figure blocked the space in front of him and laughingly spoke to him. Old man, allow me to be your opponent. White Tianzun was startled when he saw this pretty girl, who had suddenly appeared in front of him. His eyes remained indifferent and was not the least bit affected by the latter's status or appearance. He nodded slightly and his shoulders shook. Vast and mighty aura surged out explosively and swept towards Qing Lin. Qing Lin hurriedly focused her attention when she saw that this old fellow had delivered a killing blow as his first attack. Three black dots slowly enlarged deep within her emerald eyes. After which, they turned into three demonic emerald flowers that surrounded her eyes before rotating slowly. A demonic and unusual energy ripple swiftly spread. Triple Jade Green Snake Flower Pupils This white Tianzun was also an extremely experienced person. He had sensed the change in Qing Lin's eyes the moment it occurred. He was immediately startled as he exclaimed. You have guessed correctly. Ching Lin smiled sweetly. The demonic and unusual glow within her eyes rotated rapidly. The Dou Qi pressure that surged over from all directions was resolved. How unexpected. This world actually does possess such a mysterious eye. Unfortunately, you are too weak, White Tianzun laughed faintly. His body moved and a couple of afterimages appeared in the sky. He appeared in front of Ching Lin almost instantly. Vast and mighty energy gathered on his hand. After which, it grabbed towards Ching Lin. That may not be certain. Ching Lin laughed. Her delicate seemingly boneless waist was gently twisted and her body escaped this restraint by White Tianzun's hand and she swiftly pulled back. Humph! Seeing Ching Lin dodge, a chillness appeared within White Tianzun's eyes. He let out a snort and rushed outwards. Bang! During the time that Bai Tianzun and Ching Lin began to exchange blows, Xiao Yan and Old Ghost Xi Xing also violently collided together like meteorites. Frightening Dou Qi ripples swept apart in the midair, shaking those surrounding mountain peak until large mountain rocks fell continuously. At this moment, Xiao Yan and Old Ghost Xi Xing had completely engaged in a head on clash. The current him had already formally advanced to a two-star Dozun level after having swallowed the Doshang bone marrow. Adding the three changes of the Skyfire 3 mysterious change that had been activated, Xiao Yan already possessed the qualification to battle a five-star Dozun head-on. He no longer need to be careful of the other party's attack like in the past. The one who felt this change of Xiao Yan most deeply was his opponent, Old Ghost Xi Xing. The current him felt increasingly shocked within his heart each time he exchanged blows with Xiao Yan. When he had first met Xiao Yan back then, the latter was unable to even receive a palm from him head on. Subsequently, within a short one year, the person, who was an ant in his eyes back then, had already possessed the qualification and strength to fight head on with him. It had only been a short while but the strength of this brat had advanced again. If this continues, it is likely that even I will not be a match for him the next time we meet. Old Ghost Xi Xing's heart was shocked and furious as he sensed this sudden improvement of Xiao Yan. This feeling to watching himself being surpassed was really not a good one. 
This was especially the case when this person was his opponent. He really felt that it was difficult to eat and sleep. The current Xiao Yan had clearly reached a stage where old ghost Xi Xing had difficulty eating and sleeping. A desire to kill surged within old ghost Xi Xing's heart. His palm wind also became increasingly sharp. The vast and mighty Dou Qi within his body whizzed and circulated like a monstrous flood water. Finally, it followed the veins and spluttered out. Space cracked wherever the palm wind passed. Numerous dark black spatial crack lines spread apart, appearing like a ferocious large mouth. The attacks of old ghost Xi Xing, which had suddenly become sharp, also attracted Xiao Yan's attention. His face revealed a cold smile. Although his strength had at the very most reached that of a four-star Dozun after using the Skyfire Three mysterious change, he possessed the help of the Heavenly Flame. This increase had caused him to no longer need to be afraid of old ghost Xi Xing. Bang bang bang! Two figures flashed like a ghost in the midair. Each time they made contact, a shocking loud sound would erupt. Waves after waves of wild and violent energy storm spread out continuously and resounded in the sky like muffled thunder. This intense battle condition caused one to be greatly speechless when looking at it. At this moment, the interior of the star realm was basically filled with murderous cries. Densely cold black fog spread over the place. The many falling star pavilion disciples were clustered together. They might not be a match for the experts of the Hall of Soul in a one-on-one -on -one match. However, when hundreds or thousands of them gathered together, even these experts were unable to gain victory within a short while. Feng Zunzhet, Little Fairy Doctor and the rest had also joined the battle at this moment. Quite a number of experts had joined this invasion by the Hall of Soul. Almost all of them were strong and vicious characters. Hence, even Feng Zunzhet's group also had to put in all their effort at this moment. There were quite a number of human figures in the distant sky far from the star realm. These were some experts from the central plains, who had come after hearing the news as well as the spies of some factions. The Hall of Soul had always been an extremely powerful faction on the central plains. Each of their action would attract countless number of gazes. Moreover, the Hall of Soul did not hide this mission. Hence, it had attracted quite a number of gazes. This time around, the Falling Star Pavilion has met with a great calamity. It had actually provoked the Hall of Soul to attack it, an old man, who had some relationship with the Falling Star Pavilion, sighed softly. He, if the Falling Star Pavilion is destroyed, a space would be created amongst the four pavilions. My Flowing Cloud Pavilion might be able to grasp the opportunity to fill it. Chi, given that little strength of your Flowing Cloud Pavilion, it is likely that your faction will be annihilated the day after you become one of the four great pavilions. What are you saying? Are you seeking death? Humph, do you think I am afraid of you? These places were undoubtedly a complete chaos. Some of the experts or factions that had some grudge with each other would occasionally end up erupting into a fiery hot battle should they argue. However, most of the gazes were currently pausing at the star realm. These small conflict naturally had difficulty attracting much attention. Although these people argued, most of them had a pessimistic attitude towards the fate of the Falling Star Pavilion today. Some of the experts, who possessed some relation with Feng Zunzhe and Yao Lao struggled a little before gently sighing. Given the current strength of the Falling Star Pavilion, it was unable to fight with the Hall of Soul. Even with their help, it would be of little use. Instead, they would end up being dragged into the quagmire. Ugh! While everyone was feeling regretful for the fate of the Falling Star Pavilion, the finger of the old man lying with his eyes shut on the stone platform suddenly trembled slightly. The moment his finger shook, the space within the stone tower also emitted a crack and exploded, transforming into many spatial fragments. They rolled down and was destroyed. Chapter 1280, Unleash Bang! Two human figures that were covered by vast and mighty Dou Qi clusters collided violently in the sky. Frightening earth-shaking noise shot towards the cloud. Even the clouds that floated in the sky had been shaken until they scattered at this moment. 
no one dared to step within a thousand feet radius of the two. With such a terrifying Dochi attack, it was likely that even an ordinary elite Dozun would have difficulty blocking it. Haha, <laughs> how enjoyable! Xiao Yan violently collided with old ghost Xi Xing. The strong and fierce force shook Xiao Yan until he pulled back by over a dozen steps. His face was also covered with a desire to battle. Due to there being too big of a gap when they battled with old ghost Xi Xing earlier, he was unable to exchange blows head on with the other party. All he could do was to rely on his speed and agility to dodge. After which, he began to display his Do Chi attack. It was the first time this kind of bold head on collision had occurred. Compared with Xiao Yan's loud laughter, old ghost Xi Xing's expression had become increasingly gloomy. In front of the many experts within the Hall of Soul, he, a Hall of Soul Tian Zun, was unable to finish of a younger generation even after such a long time. He had really lost a great amount of face. You can just try to act strong in front of the old me. The old me shall see just how many lives can the Falling Star Pavilion fork out to let you squander. Old Ghost Xi Xing inhaled a deep breath of air. His tone had suddenly become sinister as he spoke. Xiao Yan's eyes took the opportunity to sweep around the interior of the Star Realm when he heard this. His heart sunk a little. Although some of the elders in the Falling Star Pavilion were still able to fight with the experts from the Hall of Soul, those ordinary disciples were no match for them. Although they relied on their large number to prevent too many deaths, there would also be occasionally some Falling Star Pavilion disciples dying from the sneak attacks by the experts from the Hall of Soul. I really cannot continue to drag this out. There is a need to finish off this old ghost quickly. Xiao Yan mused a little in his heart. After which, he slowly nodded. He quietly took out a couple of medicinal pills to recover Do Chi from his storage ring and stuffed all of them into his mouth. However, he did not immediately swallow them. After doing all these, his gaze finally turned towards old ghost Xi Xing. He let out a cold laughter and the Do Chi within his body followed a strange path and circulated rapidly. Following the circulation of his Do Chi, a dark golden light gradually appeared on Xiao Yan's right palm. At the same time, his feet stepped gently on the air and walked towards old ghost Xi Xing. Seeing Xiao Yan slowly walk over, a ferocious smile also surfaced on old ghost Xi Xing's face. Xiao Yan adopted the intention of ending this battle as soon as possible and it was the same for him. With his eyesight, he could naturally tell that Xiao Yan was displaying a Do technique. However, he did not care. The only that Xiao Yan could frighten him with was the fire lotus that relied on the merger of four types of flames. Other than this, he did not think that Xiao Yan could possess any threat towards him. Even though Xiao Ye's strength could barely fight head on with him now, he also understood that this ability to fight was something that Xiao Yan had forcefully obtained by using the secret technique. Once the secret technique reached its time limit, it would be an easy matter to kill Xiao Yan. Now, allow the old me to let you see just what is the true strength of a five-star Dozun. The ferocious expression on old ghost Xi Xing's face became increasingly wide. Vast and mighty Do Qi spluttered. After which, it transformed into a viscous substance. It wiggled strangely before agglomerating into a dark black ghost head blade. This large blade was extremely strange. A layer of strange dark black crystal covered it. The blade's edge gently cut through the air and a thumb-size crack line suddenly appeared. Old Ghost Xi Xing's hand held the large blade tightly. His gaze was dense as he watched Xiao Yan walking over slowly. Numerous afterimages were suddenly formed by the large blade. After which, it hacked down furiously from across the space. Shattering Star Blade After Old Ghost Xi Xing's low and deep roar resounded over the place, the entire sky suddenly became dark. Countless number of stars were suspended behind old ghost Xi Xing. After which, they transformed into numerous small rays of light that gathered onto the large blade. Following the gathering of these rays of light, the energy on the large blade also became increasingly frightening. Die! Old ghost Xi Xing smiled in a dense manner. The blade hacked downwards. Following the fall of this blade, 
the space in front of him fell apart almost instantly. Numerous spatial crack line appeared. Finally, a thousand feet large sharp blade glow forcefully split the space in front in an incomparably overbearing manner. It transformed into a lightning that shot explosively towards Xiao Yan. Such a powerful blade glow suddenly appeared in the sky. It immediately attracted the focus of countless number of eyes. A surprised expression immediately surfaced in the eyes. Star Shattering Blade This was the greatest trump card of old ghosts I seen. Countless number of experts had died under this blade. However, after old ghost Xi Xin had joined the Hall of Soul, he had seldom met any expert who could cause him to once again display this greatest trump card of it. Unexpectedly, it could be currently seen in this place. Old ghost Xi Xin star shattering blade can be considered to be at the peak of the Di class Do techniques. Its strength is extremely shocking. There are very few Do technique of the same class that could forcefully receive this attack. That Xiao Yan is likely going to be out of luck. Some of the experts observing from outside of the Falling Star Pavilion involuntarily shook their heads when they saw this situation. Xiao Yan's eyes rippled slightly in the face of this frightening sharp blade glow that could tear the world. His slow forward moving footsteps also paused for a moment. The dark golden light on his right palm also became increasingly dense. It is too late to think of escaping now. Seeing Xiao Yan pause his footsteps, old ghost Xi Xin thought that the former was shaken by this blade glow. He immediately laughed coldly. However, Xiao Yan acted as though he did not hear this cold laughter. His gaze focused intently on his right palm. The dark golden color at that spot had reached the limit of its brightness before an extreme deep black glow finally trembled and surfaced. With the surfacing of this black light, the bright golden glow also quickly disappeared. Instead, the black spot became increasingly large. That manner was as though the golden glow's energy was being swallowed by the black light. With the rapid expansion of the black light, Xiao Yan also sensed the Dou Qi swiftly flowing out from his body. He hurriedly swallowed the medicinal pills in his mouth with a gulp. After which, he suddenly raised his head. At this moment, that thousand feet large blade glow was already a couple of dozen meters in front of him. The sharp wind caused tiny blood traces to appear on his skin. Consider it your honor to be able to die under the star shattering blade of the old me. The blade glow approached. At this moment, even with Xiao Yan's fast speed, he was unable to dodge the attack. Old ghost Xi Xing involuntarily laughed out loud when he saw this. This hateful brat would finally die in his hands today. Who? A faint smile was slowly lifted on Xiao Yan's face when he heard old ghost Xi Xing's loud laughter. His hand suddenly landed heavily on the empty space in front of him. A dense cry suddenly resounded. Great Heaven Creation Palm. Bang. Xiao Yan's palm landed and the space itself basically collapsed almost instantly. A dark black light sphere that caused one's heart to feel cold swiftly spread from his palm. After which, it violently collided with the sharp blade glow. Chi. The two collided. The intense explosion that exceeded everyone's expectations did not appear. That blade glow appeared to have entered a deep bottomless black hole as it charged in. Not the slightest fluctuation was created. Even the rate at which the black light expended was not slowed. Hiss. Everyone inhaled a breath of cool air from shock upon seeing this scene. Their eyes were filled with disbelief. It was likely that few amongst those present could receive that attack of old ghost Xi Xing, yet, yet that extremely powerful blade glow appeared to be without even the slightest ability to resist under that strange black light sphere. How is this possible? At this moment, everyone's head were blurry. All they could do was to repeatedly mutter in their minds. The disappearance of the blade glow also caused old ghost Xi Xing to be stunned. He suddenly recovered and looked at the familiar black light sphere. Those eyes of his abruptly widened as he exclaimed, Great Heaven Creation Palm? Tian Class Do Technique? How did you obtain it? Old ghost Xi Xing had personally witnessed the Great Heaven Creation Palm at the ancient remains back then. 
That frightening strength was something that was deeply ingrained in his memory even until now. This kind of Tian class Dou technique, which he greatly coveted, had actually landed in Xiao Yan's hand. It's those three ribs. Old Ghost Xi Xin could be considered to have reacted quickly. He almost immediately recalled the three ribs that Xiao Yan had ripped from the skeleton that day. Clearly, if the Tian class Dou technique really did exist, it should be on those ribs. This cunning bastard. Old Ghost Xi Xing's heart was bleeding from regret. His expression became gloomy as he looked at the spreading black light sphere. His body hurriedly pulled back. You wish to escape. Xiao Yan merely laughed coldly when he saw Old Ghost Xi Xing fleeing. His hand suddenly shook and the black light sphere expansion rate suddenly increased. At the same time, an incomparable suction force surged out from within the dark black light sphere. Under this suction force, old ghost Xi Xing's speed immediately slowed. After which, he was shocked to see the black light sphere spreading over rapidly. The fear of death finally climbed onto his heart at this moment. He clearly understood that if he was sucked into the light sphere, it was likely that even he would die immediately. Bang bang bang! Old Ghost Xi Xing hurriedly unleashed numerous powerful Dou Qi pillars at this critical moment where death approached. However, these attacks did not even create a ripple when landing on the light sphere before they strangely disappeared. This kind of endless devouring caused a helplessness to surge up Old Ghost Xi Xing's heart. Die! Xiao Yan's eyes turned chilly as he watched Old Ghost Xi Xing, who was in close proximity. The rate at which the light sphere spread suddenly increased. Ninth Tianzun Sir, please save me. Old Ghost Xi Xing, who was unable to escape after using all of his abilities, finally opened his throat at this critical moment. A miserable sharp roar resounded over the sky.